Has this been closed for a while? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 18 months and it's reopening now? Yeah. What a good day to be here. You come out here a lot to fish? I used to. Yeah? How, how many years? About 40. 40 years? Yeah. So are you a resident, like a long time resident of Ventura? 66 years. Really? Yeah, I grew up here. Wow, so it's changed a lot, I'm sure. Yeah. Six, five, four, three. Look at these guys running out there. Look at them running. The lady up here by the bench? Yeah. I'll get it for you. There for, years and years. for years, this is Jose's spot. I saw it, I was walking up in my mind, I'm like, oh, these guys are generational. God, they gotta be. You guys from here? Yes. Yeah, yeah. awesome, man. Cheese. There you go. We're in my home state of California. We're in Ventura, California, to be exact. I'm here actually to film the X Games, which is really, really cool. I'll show you guys some footage, but in this video, we're doing street photography with the Ricoh GR3 edition. We're just gonna walk along the pier. It's a beautiful morning, overcast. We're going to get some really fun shots. Come along and hang out. We're in Ventura, California, and I'm from San Diego, but all along the coast, you get the same kind of weather where up until about like 1030 or 11 a.m., it's always overcast from the ocean, which is actually just on the other side of this freeway over here. We're going to cross here in a minute, but already we got plenty to work with. So we're gonna shoot this little Toyota. We're gonna get a little closer. I'm gonna do one horizontal as well. We get a detail shot. Very cool. Look at this. How long has this been sitting here? All right, let's make our way over to the Ventura Boardwalk. Walking through an alleyway like this in the morning with this type of weather reminds me of being a kid and walking with my grandma all over San Diego. Uh, she would get up early and go to work, but we'd always be on our feet because she didn't drive. We always took public transportation. And so we'd be up and early with the beautiful overcast. And man, there's just nothing like this. Love California so much. We got some street art here. We got a light sprinkle that you can feel. It's almost like a mist. And it feels nice, I'm not worried about being too cold or wet. I certainly didn't pack a jacket. Maybe I should have. So right here, this is, we walked past this last night. I'm here with a buddy, because I'm gonna actually be filming the X Games, which is over on the fairgrounds over here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm a professional videographer. And yeah, I travel the country. I'm going to be shooting the X Games, some motocross content. And you know, I don't like that because of the signage. So maybe we'll skip this. But Anyways, I'll get back to the X Games stuff here later. Daisy Fazio House, Pioneer Ventura County Rancher Orville A. Wadley built this craftsman bungalow in 1910 for his daughter Daisy Wadley Fazio, who lived in the home until her death in 1974. Wow. The adjacent carriage house barn of board and batten construction, which is just away over here, is one of the few remaining structures of this type in the downtown area. This house was restored by the Golden Ring family in 1980. So it's a historic preservation. So 1910 is where we are. And back then, I mean, you would have had a view of the beach because it's right over there. All right, let's go photograph the back part. No trespassing. 
But I'm just going to come back here and photograph this cool barn. And I wonder if this is the house that they're referencing, or... I don't know. Actually, I'm going to try to see if I can hit it straight on. Big, massive tree back here. Yeah, let's hit it straight on. A lot of private property, no trespassing signs, but yeah, historic. Very, very cool stuff. Imagine what it would have been like to live here with no one around you, dirt, ocean view, ocean view, front property, whatever you want to call it. So back to what I was saying, I'm here to film the X Games. We filmed a little bit last night. I'll throw some footage up for you as I talk about it. It was really cool. We're here to cover uh, the motocross events. Gonna make some social media content for the X Games. So it's not like we're just here shooting the X Games. It's actually in collaboration uh, with the X Games, which gives us a lot of access. But our events don't start until later in the night. So I've got a lot of time to kill and just hang out. And I'm so grateful for that because usually when I go and do any type of work. It's always straight to work. I'm there for like 10 hours, 12 hours, and then you go home and sleep and you jump on an airplane the next day. And I just like the autonomy of Wait. being able to be somewhere and have the day to myself Wait. essentially and go do things like this. Hey, can I just do a hot coffee? Yeah. Do you want nothing in it? I'd like some cream and sugar. Cream and sugar? How many sugars? Uh, let's do like two sugars. Two sugars? All right. Yeah. And then is that it for you? Uh, yes, please. Okay. So I'm waiting for my coffee, but I see some surfers walking up. So we're going to photograph these dudes with their boards. I'm just going to wait here nonchalant and point a camera right at their faces and even get down on a knee. They look so cool. Yeah. Had it? Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, have a good one. Yep, you too. Hi. If you're curious today, again, we're shooting in the negative film preset. It's one of my favorite presets on the Ricoh GR3, and this is the diary edition, but if you have the street version or even the regular version, they have those presets as well, and they're available to everybody. Let's go photograph the lifeguard post here. Okay, I don't know if you guys see them, but there's squirrels everywhere in here. Just one under the rock there. I don't think you guys can see him because it's so wide. The camera lens. Here we go. Man. I'm sorry, guys, I know. I'm just in love. You guys can hear it on my voice. This is home. Well, this isn't my hometown, but it's home. But this is one of my best pals home. His name is Casey. Worked with him and he would always talk about Ventura and the surf and having sand in his hair all day, every day. He actually used to live pretty close to here. It's just been a minute since I've been out with the ocean cast. You just forget that places like this exist. But I'll say this, when you live in California, you just tend to forget that you even have a beach. <laughs> 
when I lived in San Diego, we'd go to the beach like two or three times a year, and that was that was it. You know, just make up our way to the pier. New station's up there. I mean, from here I can see some fishing rods. So I'm wondering if there's going to be a fishing competition. It looks like it's gated off. So I don't know if I'll be able to get out there. I'll try to get the framing with the runners. up here, see what other photos we can take. I want to catch up to this guy pulling his crate, so I'm going to turn on the jets here. Historic Ventura Pier. It says reopening. So it seems like people are waiting. And this has been closed for a minute, but I don't know how long. And all the fishers here. Waiting. Has this been closed for a while? 18 months and it's reopening now? Oh damn, what a good day to be here. Yeah, you guys are eager to get back fishing, huh? Oh yeah. Wow. Whoa, we got here on the day that it reopens. 18 months, guys, and we got here on the day. What are the chances? 18 months. 18 months, yeah. The first time, so they've closed it before? Yeah? Wow. What was the reason they closed it? Just to reinforce it or work no, no, on it? The, uh, um, rains and storm that hit earlier. Mm. My parents bought planks and stuff back in the day. Okay. And this one was in 93. And this doesn't exist anymore. It was out even farther. Oh, wow. And it's been knocked down and... From the water, the storms, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, so then we went and bought another one. And I'm going to go take a picture of that one. <coughs> this is 76. You see these numbers? Yeah. Yeah, so 76, road 10, plank, 1A. So those are the planks. Gotcha. So in order to keep this going in the family, oh. I just want to keep it going in the family. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. So are you a resident, like a long-time resident of Ventura? 66 years. Really? Yeah, I so, grew up here. Wow, so it's changed a lot, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, we're agriculture, so we're just watching our land be sucked up by houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from San Diego, but I live in Utah now, and that's... That's how Salt Lake City is going. I mean, you, you look somewhere where you used to play as a kid and now it's just condominiums and apartments. Yeah. So I, I, I'm now feeling that even yes. as a 35 year old. Yeah. yeah. What was your name? Roxy. Roxy, I'm Andy. So Hi, nice Andy. to meet you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, I just got here last night and I figured, oh, I'll go out to the pier. Like it's beautiful. And I picked a good day for it. Well, yeah, the last three days have been absolutely gorgeous, and then mm -hmm. this morning I went, yep, 4th of July weather, yeah. so. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. Look at all these people just ready to go. These guys, I mean, fishing was a big deal out here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't imagine not being able to fish for 18 months, year and a half. And, and the friendships that they have all built is just phenomenal. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Love it. What was your name? 
José. José. Andrés. Andrés. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. Bien, bien. ¿Emocionado? Yeah. Yeah, excited. Yeah. Excited. Yeah. Two years. Two years, wow. Yeah, you come out here a lot to fish? I used to. Yeah, how many years? About 40. 40 years? Yeah, 1972. Wow. 1972? Yeah. It's amazing, man, that's incredible. Today going to be the first day in a year, year and a half. Yeah, they, they were saying 18 months. Yeah, 18 months. Wow. Well, they haven't been fished for 18 months, so they're going to be biting, hopefully. Yeah. I think I'm hungry. Okay, 10. Let's go! <laughs> Look at these guys running out there. Look at them running. This is so cool. <laughs> Let's go, Jose! I'm almost there with my favorite spot. What's your favorite spot? Right there by the lady up. The lady up here by the bench? Yeah. I'll get it for you. <laughs> right here? There, yeah. All right, cool, man. Been there for years and years. For years. This is Jose's spot. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man. Take it easy. Good luck today. Yeah, thank you. Got yeah, Jose near the bench, number 75. I thought you could see that curvina around here. Big fish, but this big. Yeah, you can spot them? Yeah, I can spot them from here. I don't, I don't want to see them today. Because too much. Yeah, there's like too much gunk in the yeah. ocean, huh? High tide, I think. Yeah. There's a little tide. We get some. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> cool, man. All right, man. Yeah, hey, uh, I'm going to try. you mind if I get a photo with you, dude? Sure. Just to remember? Problem. All right, Jose, catch lots of fish today. Right, See you, brother. Right. How cool. 40 years he's been fishing on this pier at his favorite spot. Helped him lock it down. <laughs> Everyone claims their spots, throw their stuff. <laughs> what a cool thing to stumble on. <laughs> I had no idea this was happening. And we got here just in time. Hey there, how are you? How are you? Good, man. Just taking some photos. Good luck today. Yeah, thank you. Happy to be back fishing? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's awesome. Year and a half. Year and a half, yeah, long time.
There's many a fishing pole. Oh, I still got you 20 bucks for the first fish caught. All right. What's that? What are you tithing not to? He said he's got $20 for the first to catch a fish. Got all of the poles, but sometimes these aren't even for people. Well, multiple people is what I mean. They might drop like six rods for each person, get lines, feel a tug, and then you go tent to the one that caught a fish. Ventura Pier, 1872. Hey! How are you? Is this the little rock star? Yeah, this is the rock star. How are you? Good to be here. How are you? Hey, great, great. So, what kind of are you? Everyone who enjoyed this pier when it was built is dead. Even though that sounds morbid. It's not. We're here for a hundred years, shared on the planet. Then we all kind of cycle through. We're gone, we're here, we're gone, we're here, we're gone. And we just got to make the best of the time that we have on this planet together. Super cool, man. Thank you. You have an email that you'd like me to send that photo to? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool, man. What was your name? John. John, I'm Andy. Nice, nice to, to meet you, you, man. Sweet bike, dude. Thank you. How long did it take you to build? It was a year. A year? Yeah. Very cool. So like a, like a chopper style bike, basically? Yep. Yeah? With the, uh, what do they call those bars? Apes? Apes? Okay, cool. Yeah. They're 22 inch tall, so there's all kinds of brand name in this thing. Yeah, that's dope, dude. <laughs> I, sh I should know because I ride motorcycles, but I clearly don't have ape bars, so. <laughs> take it easy, guys. Enjoy your day. Yeah, man. See you guys. Some bike riders. And this will be a clean shot. He's going to walk by. And out here looks like you got a family of fishers, maybe even generations. How's it going, guys? Hey, good morning. You guys like uh, you guys all look like uh, familia. your sons, familia. Yeah, yeah generations. Yeah. You guys fish too. Yes. And you fish. Yeah. yeah, that's cool, man. And he's gonna be a fisher. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> you guys mind if I take a photo of you guys together? Sorry to interrupt your fishing, man. I saw it. I was walking up in my mind. I'm like, oh, these guys are generational. <laughs> God, they gotta be. You guys from here? Yes. Yeah. yeah? Awesome, man. Cheese. There you go. Awesome. Um, who has like an email or a phone number that I can send this to later? Mm -hmm. yeah, send it to my email. Okay, cool, bro. Let's see. That, right, so. I appreciate it. Cool, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for the photo. Yeah, Thank, no you. Thank you. Take it easy, guys. Yeah. Yep. Have a good day. Hey, see you, man. Thanks. That happens a lot. I'll show photos to friends and they're like, oh, did you get their email so you could send it to them? And I'm like, no, I, I didn't get their contact info. And so that's something that I want to utilize and start getting from people if they're friendly and willing so that I can send them the photo. Uh, I want to try and find a way to incorporate my professional videography, my professional videography business, photography business onto this channel for those who might want it. Could be cool. But yeah, I uh, get to travel around the country sometimes and work with some really cool clients. And like I said, in between there, I get to do stuff like this. If you want to see this camera in more action, click this video right here or right here. Remember to subscribe. It helps the channel grow. I'm able to go do videos like this.